Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be importing products over from Squarespace into Shopify. Um, I've got my development store right here, just electric eye testing. Uh, there's no products in here. I'm going to go to products. You'll see that here in a second. Um, going to import the products. Choose your CSV file, which I saved to my desktop. Uh, product import.csv. This is just a sample file that I downloaded from the Squarespace website uh, with a couple sample products in it. When you export yours, they're going to be different, uh, but I'm going to try and show you how to do this with a product import from Squarespace and see if you have any issues, just hit me up. Upload file. So right here, if your preview doesn't look right, you can try and change the order of the column headings. I'm going to go into that right there, and we're going to do a little bit of mapping. Um, so product URL, this is actually not the product URL. This is known in Shopify as the handle. So holiday-pickle.mix is the handle. Product title right here, holiday pickle mix. That looks great. Uh, the description looks like it's in there. Bringing it over, that's great. Um, physical product, this is actually not correct. Um, product type is more like t-shirt or shoes or pickles. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and ignore that for now. Ignore this column. Make sure it's unclicked. Um, right here, tags. That looks good. Seasonal, limited edition. Those are good tags. I'm going to keep that. Um, holiday, winter, in the next uh, column, actually. These look to me like collections. So let's add them as collections right here. Um, we're going to ignore this column. Uh, this is the visibility. True or false, you're going to keep that off for now. Ignore it. You're going to ignore the hosted image URLs because those are from Squarespace. Those are not going to work on Shopify. Um, you're going to keep the SKU number. Um, right here, this option name one, we're going to pick option name one, winter flavor. Uh, now, in the second column, we are going to do option one value. And then right here, we have the size, which is option two name. And then this size is connected to that. So we are going to do option two value. Um, there's some more over here. Uh, you might have uh, an option three for the variants. Uh, they're going to Shopify. I uh, just map those properly as I've done before. Um, price here, price $10, 15 I'm uh, going to keep that. That looks great. We're going to ignore this price, the sale price for now. And then we are going to ignore this column as well. We're going to keep the weight in. That looks good. It's bringing over the product weights. That's going to be great for shipping and fulfillment. Um, we are going to ignore the length, width, and, and height as well. Uh, we're going to take care of that a different way within Shopify. Uh, and right here, stock, we're going to keep that and map it to inventory quantity. And so that's giving us our product inventories um, attached to those variants. So when we're all done, we think everything's mapped properly, we're gonna hit next. And right here, you can see the, here are the variants, beets mix small, lemon mix small, all that looks good. You have the SKU price, let's import it. Give it a second to load here. If you have a large product catalog, it might take a really long time. This is not such a big one. Uh, one product, obviously, with some variants, so it's fairly quick. And as you can see, um, it's loaded in my product. Uh, that images did not transfer over, so we're going to have to go in and click into the product. And we have our product uh, listing right here. Looks like the description was brought in. That's great. Um, we didn't bring in the product type, so I'm just going to enter it here. Call it pickles. So you have my collections here, holiday, winter. It's automatically added to the home collection. I have my tags here, seasonal, limited edition. It's a product, and here are my variants. Um, and as you can see, there are no images, so this is where we would drop in our images here. And then search engine listing preview. We can go in and change any of the meta description. Uh, the title, and then we can see our new URL right here, um, as opposed to that old Squarespace URL. 
So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know if you have any questions.